So last night our plans kind of got fucked up. We ended up in this really weird hills have eyes kind of scenario uh, in Missouri. Did you puke here? That's oatmeal. That's oatmeal, okay. <laughs> weird area in Missouri where it's a sketchy little tiny back roads and it was the middle of the night we were driving with this camper and the trailer on it was extremely hilly too and it could barely handle it like it was steep steep hill so we were kind of freaking out a little bit when it came to that we couldn't end up finding a campsite last night in the area we were going to and the one that we did find it was pretty sketchy too now we're in the lowest parking lot because that's where we end up uh, crashing. Milo's. I'm gonna jump on the bike all day today, hopefully. From the looks of it, I know that it's pretty cloudy up here right now, but we're heading to Kansas today to go stay at one of the state parks there. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Day after that, Colorado Springs, and then finally the Grand Canyon. That's the one I'm really looking forward to is the Grand Canyon. We've been doing a ton of driving. We haven't really stopped to be doing any fun things, and that's been really upsetting all of us because it's been like 12, 13 hour days of driving. Obviously, it's been a little hard for the girls. One of the girls, Carly, has been having a couple of little mental breakdowns, missing home, all this stuff. So it has definitely been a lot different than what I pictured. It hasn't been as many stops and many cool things along the way. So today I made sure to pick an, a location that's only five hours away. So we can just get there, five hour drive out of the way. We'll be there, we can have some fun. I'm gonna go ahead and jump on the bike. So enjoy some uh, GoPro footage today. We managed to find ourselves an IHOP literally two minutes down the road from, from our campsite, which is open 24 seven. So I guess we could have came in here last night. Oh, I've never been to IHOP before. Yes, Niagara Falls. Both have? Oh yeah, they do have a Niagara. You know what's funny? In Canada, we don't have, we got strawberry syrup, water. butter pecan, butter pecan, blueberry, old fashioned. All we have is one kind of syrup. We don't yeah. get multiple kinds of syrup. They're like, do you, do you want syrup with that? <laughs> <laughs> Then again, we're from Canada. We get real maple syrup. We get like we get the we get the good stuff. Okay, so I've got a serious question. What is this? A hash brown. They look different. Yeah, they're like shredded potatoes, like shredded cheese. Huh. I got something boring. Mine's not as exciting as yours. No, I'm not a rebel like you. Do I look pretty? Do you love me now, mama? Carly, where are we? In the middle of nowhere in Kansas, but that's where we are. Well, we're at a historic marker. Lincoln County, the 1860s. Yeah, I don't need to hear that whole thing. <laughs> We've been driving through Kansas for the past five, six hours now. My bike has run out of gas. Luckily, I was smart and brought not one, but two jerry cans right here. I'm absolutely dying. We're almost there. We only got like 50 more minutes to our campsite. Hopefully there's a gas station up here too, because I know the truck's also running low on fuel. Well, like I said, I do have a couple jerry cans, but they can only get you so far. I got burnt. I don't know if you can see that yet, but I did get burnt on my forearms, a little bit on my legs too, being out in the sun all day. Oh, this is a lot of complaint. I just complained for like, <laughs> this full two minutes has just been me complaining. Okay. So, I feel like everything, every single time I turn on this damn camera now, it's like, so, <laughs> about that last thing I said we were gonna do. <laughs> we may or may not have uh, gotten, lost. gotten lost. The GPS took us to the wrong area. It said that there was a campground, but it ended up being in the middle of nowhere. Well, now we've found a lake and a dam, and we're trying to find a campground for this lake and dam. But it's beautiful, take a look. Yeah, that's true, like, they can see the hills and stuff. Here. I'm not 
driving because I've had I got I got heat stroke and I need to relax. Yeah. I'm just joking. We found a campsite finally. First night on this entire trip that I've stolen. Is this site good enough for you? Jesse? It's a process and a half. Yeah, it was a process and a half because I just drove around for the past half hour trying to find a spot for you two. I like the spot over there. The one where it was reserved. Yeah. Did you buy firewood? I want to do a quick little shout out to whoever sent me uh, this little gadget here, Easy Ace. I'll put the link down in the description down below. Not an affiliate link, actually. <laughs> this little pocket thing, it can charge like my phone four or five times. Uh, I've been using it a lot whenever we, we've been camping in like parking lots and stuff and not having any power. Uh, I've been using it to charge my phone. And the great part is you can have it like in your back pocket and walk around, talk on the phone and stuff with your phone plugged in, still charging. So it's pretty awesome. Shout out to them. Just want to insert that quick club, quick little plug. I figured since the girls aren't here, I might as well bust out the old drone and get some good shots to kind of show you guys exactly the beautiful spot that I am. Right now we are in, say we're not in Kansas anymore, but we are in Kansas. I'm repeating, we're not in Kansas anymore. We are in Kansas right now. We are in Kansas something park somewhere. And we're a little bit, blah, blah. Hopefully all this information is going to be in the <laughs> in the description so you guys can come check it out if you'd like. I'll try to remember exactly where it is and what it's called and put the link to their website down below so you guys can check it out. While I open up my drone and get this ready to show you this beautiful view, I want to talk to you guys about something real quick. If you guys are at all interested in living this sort of lifestyle, being able to go out and just live, go out on a on a three four week trip and just kind of do your own thing and not have to worry about gas not have to worry about you know oh my boss is going to kill me if you were looking to start becoming your own boss and do that you can check out the link down below which will take you to the course that i created with ryan hildreth which will show you kind of how to do social media marketing and for those of you who've been wondering because the number one question i've been getting is hey how are you doing this while you're on your trip what about you know internet all that luckily first of all i can afford a plan for a canadian plan that will give me internet so i am able to actually do that but then on top of that what i'm able to do is actually hire people which we kind of go over in the course on how to hire people will do it for very cheap to manage some of these accounts for you or to at least do the content creation or maybe the copyright or whatever it may be you can find those people on like upwork and fiverr and, and get them to do it so i've got guys who are working on stuff i can still communicate with my people because even on my headset on my motorcycle i've got my phone connected to it so i'm always connected to the world around me no matter what i mean come on you guys it's, it's 2017 you got a phone you can do pretty much anything with that phone alone plus hotspot for your computer whatever it may be but what i want to say right now is i want you guys to go ahead and enjoy this drone footage I can feel the night When I see the daylight I should be alright 